Now this is a case of dense white cataract. As you can see, the pupil is not pretty well dilated. So it's a kind of challenging case. The patient is single-eyed and the cornea has some opacity. So I guess that this pupil is around 4.5 or 5 millimeter. It's very important to have a good control of the direction of the tear. Otherwise, it might escape behind the iris and you lose control and sight. Now we have a reasonable rexis around 5 mm in diameter. So in this case, with suspected zonal weakness, probably we can use one of those capsular hooks to support the zonules in the vertical meridian. But let's see how it's going on without use of those supporting device. I prefer to use vertical chopper in this case of uh, poor dilatation of the pupil because we can work on the central area, activating vacuum only, and trying to split the nucleus by the vertical chopper into two parts still they are attached together so here we have four not completely separated quadrants in an attempt to reduce the ultrasound power i'm trying to conquer each quadrant i don't insist on complete separation of the posterior isthmus because it might jeopardize the posterior capsule in this case Now we have a kind of flower petal appearance. So I'm going to switch now to the nuclear manipulator. Trying now to find one of those quadrants to impale. I'm going now to pass behind here the quadrant to cut this posterior isthmus. Now we have three quadrants so we can emulsify it in the supracapsular plane. As you can see, it's a pretty dense cataract and the pupil is getting down. Now again, this one quadrant here. We'll pass behind this quadrant, actually two quadrants together. Trying to separate it. It's already separated now, so we can emulsify it. In this area, we have to challenge ourselves by working in the central part of the anterior chamber and the capsule. We don't have too much room to manipulate with the phaco tip. So as you can see, I'm keeping my phaco tip all the time in the central part without too much manipulation. Probably there are more work with these non-dominant hands or the left hand by the second instruments. Inject some OVD and bring this one back to the anterior chamber. Here I'm using the hyperpulse ultrasound with variable duty cycle. A variable duty cycle means that the ratio between the off and on times of the ultrasound is variable. It starts by high or longer off period and by foot pedal excursion, the off period is decreasing for the advantage of the increasing the on period of the ultrasound. So in, increase the efficacy of the ultrasound in terms of power and the efficacy in terms of the duration as well of the hyperpulse or the cycle itself. So we have now a small part of the epinucleus. Probably we can address this by irrigation aspiration. As you can see, the pupil is around four millimeter in diameter, more or less semi-solid epinucleus. So we can crush those fibers by the second earnestments. So we can be patient to aspire those parts. As you can see, this is the vent function of the machine. Once you release the pressure on the foot pedal, all of a sudden the machine do some reflux, automatic reflux. There are many techniques to introduce the capsule tension ring inside the eye because there is generalized zonular weakness with this hypermature cataract. And this 
facilitates the management of potential displacement or dislocation of the IOL capsule complex in the future. Tension is okay. This is preservative-free moxifloxacin, and we are done.